everybody and welcome back again to Mass Effect 2. We are still inside the not-so-dead Reaper and after fighting our way through millions of husks and science, I think we're finally at our destination and we need to destroy the Reaper's Mass Effect Corp. So yeah, let's uh, have a look at the storm. Of course we need to bypass it. And that's the last one. Oh, this is a reaper IFF we need. <laughs> okay. This must be it. Where's the Cerberus team? I'm pretty sure they're all dead. So, yeah. <gasps> Let's hack this wall safe as well. More credits. I don't need any more ammo. Alright, um, let's do this. Um What? Marks. What's going on here? Um, okay, so we have more husks, of course. <laughs> Reaper core. Oh, I guess I have to shoot at that stuff, but, um, it's just closed, I think. Um, oh no, this is going to be fun. All, all the husks that I can, can imagine, of course. Um, grenade and I'm going to find a better place to stay all right let's, let's do this um is there anything that I have to do here to open this thing though this is just wait a while and survive Probably one of those things, right? On the left. Um, yeah, they're pretty much everywhere, Jack. <laughs> I think they're pretty much everywhere. And there is a laptop over here. So... Oh, it's just credit. I thought it maybe... Maybe this is actual something that I need to open. Let me use some cryo armor against these bastards. Oh no, no, it's open. All right, um, let me shoot at that thing. Is it even doing anything? What the hell? I I don't I don't understand what's what's going on here. Um, but, um, I do want them if we have more reapers, uh, more husks on our hands. Alright, alright, um, let's deal with these guys first. Um, throw a shockwave at you. Alright, and oh I need I need some shockwave assistance over here. <laughs> um seriously, what what the hell is going on in this place? I can take you and another shockwave. And oh now I can and shoot us a thing. I I'm not sure if it's doing any damage at all. I can't tell. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand what I have to do here. Seriously. It's about to get fun. 
Oh, okay. Apparently, I do. Um, I am doing some damage. I just can't can't see the health bar most of the time. All right. Um, but at least I know I'm doing the right thing. I I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, I may need to go grab some clips at some point. Um, I need some shockwave over here. Oh, uh, oh, how did you get here? I can get oh, these guys are white, please. And, um, I could use some clips. Oh, uh, the thing is open, but I have some, some husks on my, my ass. Let's kill these guys first. And now, I will continue with this thing. Okay, okay, I think I did it. Woo! And now? Okay, okay. Wait, Shepard. Cerberus would want that geth for study. Why not bring it? Carve it out for a <laughs> lamp! Yeah, sure, let's take it along. And Tell let's hurry. Said no one's ever captured a geth intact. Sounds like fun. I'm not carrying shit, though. Hmm? We're out of time. Let's move. All right, all right. I, I guess we're done here. Hang on, folks. Open the port side airlock. Aye, aye. Hm. <laughs> well, this works. We're clear. Go. Whew. Yeah, let's let's get out of here quickly. Okay, we're done. We're done. Reaper IFF successfully retrieved. Loss of Cerberus team on the Reaper vessel. Unfortunate, but unsurprising. <laughs> unsurprising. We'll use team's health records for comparison against Husk encountered on Reaper for possible insight into indoctrination and Husk conversion process. Uh huh. All right. Let's return to the Normandy. to discuss the unique piece of salvage we recovered. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact geth would be invaluable to Cerberus's cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. Hmm. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. All right. Um, and Seven, I'm, I'm not sure what this is about. I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its oh. chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Would a machine care about that? No. Trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. Hmm. Yeah, I think it actually kind of helped us. It killed the husk that, you know, attacked us, right? I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, mm -hmm. and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. <laughs> well... I don't have that option though. I can either g give it to Cerberus, and you know what I think about Cerberus, or I can talk to it. So I guess we're going to talk to it. So, yeah, sure. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up, interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. <laughs> That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. <clears throat> Tally's gonna freak when she hears <laughs> about this. I guess. So what about this Reaper IFF? I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. Linking it with the Normandy systems poses certain risks. Hmm. Well, then I guess you have to be careful. I trust you, Edie. I know you won't let anything happen to the ship. Understood, Shepard. 
It may take several hours before the IFF is ready for shakedown. I will alert you as soon as it is ready. Sounds good. Till then, it's business as usual. Crew dismissed. All right. All right. Here we are. Um, and we survived <laughs> the Reaper ship. Finally, I got some new research. I probably can get this done. Yeah, more sniper rifle damage. Take it. And... Heavy skin weave. Alright, sorry, I had to take a quick break. Um, but I assume we can actually go and look for that gath that we found, right? So maybe I want to do that first of all. Um, I think he's in the AI core, right? So that would be in the crew quarters. Yes, inactive geth. <laughs> let's let's have a look at that. So, right, there was a, a locked door in in the sick bay that could not be opened, and now it can be opened. Okay. Um, let's quick save and let's have a look at this. <laughs> sure, let's activate it. Ten hut. I'm reactivating the gas. I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Aya. <laughs> I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. Can you understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. <laughs> so, um, do you know me? You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have never met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. <laughs> you are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human. Fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. The old machine? Um, I... I guess you mean the Reaper? Old machine. You mean the Reaper? Reaper. A superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the old machines. <laughs> and how do you know me? You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all <laughs> organic data sent out is received. We watch you. Uh, who exactly? You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. <laughs> Which? Both. Both, okay. Um. So, who have I been fighting? What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. <laughs> We were studying the old machine's hardware to protect our future. What do you mean by that? Are the Reapers a threat to you too? Yes. Well, that's interesting, but I mean, you're not organic. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. Oh. And what is this future you're talking about? What future are the Geth building? Ours. <laughs> and what about organics? Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. <laughs> so, are you with us or are you against us? So you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. So... Are you telling me all the Geth that I fought in the first game were actually those heretics and they are not representative of uh, 
the other Geth. So you want to work with me? Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. <laughs> what is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. <laughs> well, I guess it works. That seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, Chapter 5, Verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. <laughs> we are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. Okay. <laughs> We anticipate the exchange of data. So, I have I have a guest crew made now. Talk to Legion. Yes, let's Shepard do this. Commander, we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Okay, and what did you learn? Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. <laughs> so, your worship of the Reapers is some kind of virus? Well, that is interesting. Alright, tell me more about the dead Reaper. So why did you need to go to the Reaper corpse? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. And how exactly does this virus work? So the virus would give all Geth the heretics logic. And all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes. Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us mm -hmm. is preferable to a continued schism. Alright. And, and uh, tell me about the hacking? I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. <laughs> that doesn't make a lot of sense, yeah. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? <laughs> it is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. <laughs> Okay, and how quickly does this infection spread? If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL convoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. All right, um, and can you find the virus? You know where this thing is? The Heretics headquarters station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. Hmm. Uh, all right, tell me more about that. They build stations in the terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. <laughs> why not in Geth's base? But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. All right. Um, and what exactly is the plan here? What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy oh. the data. And are you expecting any opposition? What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within, mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. How many Geth? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. 
Others are manufactured when needed. All right. Um, sure. Let's see if we can stop them. I won't let them brainwash your race. Especially not to worship Reapers. You have my word on that. We will begin preparations. <laughs> All right. So this gave me another... Yeah, Legion, a house divided. Go to Heretic Station. Travel to the Phoenix Messing and board the Heretic Station in the Sea of Storms. Alright, alright, this is another thing that we need to do. But um, before that, I do want to uh, talk to all of my companions again. I know that some of them don't really have anything new to say, but um, those that are, <laughs> that have something new to say, I will include, and the rest I will just, you know, cut, cut from this episode. So let's, let's have a look around and see who wants to talk to us. All right, Kasumi, you got something to say? There you are. <laughs> Good thing you broke up that catfight between Jack and Miranda. I was afraid they'd tear a hole in the hole. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if this fight is really over, but it seems to be at least dormant for now. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. <laughs> Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. All right, all right. Uh, and I will leave you be. How about Samara? Let's talk. Shepard. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. Huh. All right, tell me about your adventures. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of a sorry space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a specter. <laughs> All right, tell me about that. Why did you fight a specter? A Torian named Nihilus. Ah. He may have been on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. Yeah, I knew Nihilus. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Torian and a good specter. He may have been. However, killing unarmed <laughs> civilians is wrong. I've seen you do the same. Probably, yeah. When we met, I witnessed you kill a merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed, and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. Fair enough. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Turian, and a good specter. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. Yeah, I knew there was another dialogue option here, so who won? How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. It was exhilarating. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. <laughs> the code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. I admire how he adapted <sighs> and used my code against me. Um, you've killed a cold blood. I. I, I can really hold that against her, right? I mean, Shepard isn't exactly, you know, that innocent either. When we met, I witnessed you kill a merc who had no chance against you. Uh, that the mercenary same again. was armed, All right. and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. All right, uh, tell me more about being a Justicar. What have your years as a Justicar been like? Mostly tedium and hardship. Traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices, big and small putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. <laughs> so how do you get passage? How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was aboard. And you destroyed a village? Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morinth to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town, making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. When I arrived, she fled. 
throwing her minions at me in waves, they bought her time with their lives. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the authorities' care and continued my pursuit. I see, I see. And tell me about being a mercenary. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it, <laughs> until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area. I discovered the shipment was slaves, to be traded to the collectors for advanced technology. So what did you do? I can't imagine you went along. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. The collector craft was just arriving. They closed faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through, and they did not pursue. And what about the slaves? What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength mm -hmm. and defending oneself. Then I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues and released the captives on the Citadel. All right, all right, I, I can respect that. So, ready to continue the mission then? We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. <laughs> that sounds kind of final, yes. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. Uh, I'm sure we'll get through it. I, I'll make sure of that. We'll finish this mission and live to see the end. I hope you are right. Hm. All right, that was a nice talk. Some stories to share. Um, speaking of stories, we probably uh, can get a few more stories from Zaid. And yeah, nobody else on this deck wanted to talk to me, so let's go down to engineering and uh, let's see about my guys over here. I think Zaid is in here, so let's see if he has more stories for us. Back for more. I used to do a little scorched earth work here and there. <laughs> then the Batarians started muscling in. No one's as good with terror tactics as they are. I okay. mean, the Krogans will come at you, break your face, kill your family. But the <laughs> Batarians, they'll turn your planet into a glass parking lot without a second thought. All right. Trying to remember, what was his name? Salarian infiltration specialist, hunted story man. I could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. Morden? He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Had to Morden. kill him for a job. <laughs> Your Morden Solus kind of reminds me of him. Okay, okay. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. All right. Thank you for the stories. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's talk to my guys in engineering. Shepard, <coughs> what can I do for you? I want to talk about you. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? Well, apparently you don't have time to talk. Um, I, I figured that she might have something to say about I'll the I'll let Gev, you work. But talk to you later. Apparently she does not. All right. Kenneth, do you think we'll make it through this? Of course we will, Gabby. I mean, as long as we take down the collectors, it's all worth it. Even if we don't make it. Don't even think that. <laughs> we'll make it through. This may be the first serious discussion I ever heard from you. Um, anyway, let's let's have a look at Jack down here. Hey. Um, I want to talk. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? Mm. Well, I'm curious. I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. <laughs> something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. <laughs> but what if I really care? I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. <laughs> I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. All right, I'll bite. What do the tattoos mean? I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? <laughs> some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, 
Good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because... Hey, why the fuck not? Alright, um, uh, fair enough. So you never had any close relationships, I gather. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. <laughs> Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. That that's really, really sad. Hey, you said lonely. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. So you never had any friends? You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <sighs> right. They helped me into their bed, and when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. Hmm. And you knew they would kill you. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. <laughs> I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. All right, all right. Uh, thanks for the warning. Um, we'll talk again later, maybe. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait, my turn with the questions. <laughs> People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? <laughs> you fascinate me. Um, I guess it, it sounds it sounds a bit inappropriate, though. And I'm I'm curious. Yes. I just want to know more about you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. <laughs> You're always Later, so suspicious. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see if I can find more people to talk to. Shepard? I want to talk about you. Just checking in. How are you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan? kin and enemies to fight. Um, so basically, you're happy. That's all for now. Shepard. Okay, I guess Grunt doesn't, doesn't really have anything to say anymore. Alright, fair enough. Shepard, how can I help? I want to talk about you. Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. <laughs> affecting morale. Anything else? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going to uh, interrupt you anymore. Goodbye. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got a Geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? The commander's taking out more Geth than anybody. <laughs> this one must be different. Yeah, I think, I think he might be. I think he might be different indeed. So yeah, Geth on the ship. Ah, uh, Geth? <laughs> Alright, we're all freaking insane. <laughs> well, thank you for your vote of confidence. So what do you think about the squad? What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. I'm not saying anything about Jack, I'm not stupid. <laughs> okay. It's just my opinion though, there's really no need to go spreading around. And how are things in the cockpit? I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Huh. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's yeah, it for I think now. you did. See you, Commander. <laughs> Alright, I think we are done talking to everyone, and, well, yeah, as it seems, uh, we have a new mission that we can do, so I guess we're going to do this next episode. So, uh, let's make a cut here and continue with this next time, so thank you for watching, and see you again tomorrow.